Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Most people automatically associate blockchain with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, but in the world of wine, blockchain can also play a very important role. It can help to confirm the origin and provenance of great wine. If we look at blockchain as an immutable ledger that can't be altered by a counterfeiter, hacker, or forger, then this means that after a bottle of wine has been verified as legitimate and provenance verified, then these details can be put on the blockchain. When a buyer or seller wants to verify the authenticity of a bottle of wine, then all they would have to do is look up the information on the blockchain. So theoretically, any wine industry participants such as auction houses, private collectors, retailers, or hospitality venues, for example, who have to be sure of the quality and authenticity of the bottles of wine that they're selling would be very interested in blockchain technology. Following several recent counterfeiting incidents, the necessity for blockchain technology in the wine sector has been an essential topic of discussion amongst buyers and sellers of fine wine. It's estimated that up to 20% of all fine wine on the secondary market isn't legitimate. In today's video, we're going to look at how blockchain technology can benefit the wine industry. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by leaving a comment saying so in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into it. blockchain-based thumbprint wine authentication system. With counterfeiting in mind, it's easy to see why a wine bottle identification system is necessary. A multi-layered, unchanging, timeless, and transportable system would fit the bill. It would, in the best case scenario, provide both authenticity and provenance credentials. So in other words, a system like this would make it very hard for counterfeiters to sell fake wine bottles, simplifying the entire secondary market for wine by eliminating the requirement for a wine authenticator to be called in every time a bottle of wine is sold. The Chai Wine Vault created by Everledger in late 2016 is a great example of such a system. Such a system can make buying and selling exquisite wine much more accessible. You can check up a bottle of wine on the blockchain instead of having to trust the word of a buyer. If that bottle of wine has been monitored since it's bottling, then it will be easy to know where it is and who it belongs to at any given time. It'll also evaluate whether or not a bottle of wine is genuine in a couple of seconds. Now that might sound like a technological marvel, but it's the product of something called a bottle of wine's digital thumbprint. Chai Wine Vault's The Chai Method identifies 90 different bottle characteristics. They form a unique digital thumbprint when they're all integrated into a single profile. The cork, the label, and the glass are just a few of the data points. One or more of these factors may be forged by a master counterfeiter, but not all 90. And this is what it means to have a multi-layered system. If a counterfeiter attempted to alter even one of these traits, for example, by making a fake label, then they would have to modify the blockchain as well. Blockchain-based barcode wine authentication system. Currently, the wine industry uses RFIDs and web-based systems to counteract counterfeiting. It works, but it's still not enough. And this is because the data online which is stored on the servers can always be tampered with. Utilizing blockchain with a barcode has the potential to change everything. It could solve wine authenticity, credibility, and transparency issues. Every entity involved in the production, distribution, and sale of wine will be recorded as a block in the chain and made visible to all parties involved. So suppose any entity in the chain tries to tamper with it. In that case, the tamper will be detected by all of the chain's interconnected members due to the blockchain's universal ledger system, which is synchronized with each entity. Every new block of data will be checked by the other entities and synchronized in the ledger. The system's credibility will be enhanced by the transparency with which the block data is validated. Any update to the ledger will only be permitted if the most participating entities validate the transaction. As a result, purchasers and collectors will be able to comprehend the wine's entire tale. They can learn all about grape producers, vineyards, wineries, sellers, packers and fillers, wholesalers, distributors, and even retail stores. How to tag these entities? The answer can be found in the age-old barcode technology. To tag the wine, you can use technologies like RFID, QR code, electronic product code, and so on. Giving grapes a unique identifier, aiding in determining their origin. A secret barcode will be assigned to the barcode linked with a batch of grapes produced in a particular vineyard, and then uploaded to the blockchain's universal ledger. Any additional grape processing will then be recorded and stored in a block. So how will it work? Origins behind the source of a grape will be determined once it's been tagged with a barcode. The grapes will subsequently be delivered to a specific winemaker. This information will then be recorded as a new block in the chain and put on the ledger. 
As a result, the winemaker and grape used to make the wine may then be verified. When the winemaker receives the grape, he'll send it to the bulk winemaker for processing. Following the production of bulk wine, it will then be transported to transit cellars for additional processing. The wine will then be transported from the transit cellars to the filling and packing centers for packaging. So when a buyer buys a new bottle of vintage wine, all they'll have to do is scan the bottle's barcode. The entire tale from manufacturer to packaging to the store will be revealed. And as a result, revolutionizing the entire wine industry, preventing counterfeiting. Easy Lab and Vinex are two of the few tech startups working in this field. As new blockchain-based authentication methods gain traction, it's possible to envision a future where counterfeits and fakes are no longer a concern for investors, collectors, and wine enthusiasts. The black market for fine wines will be replaced by a far more transparent system, where buyers and sellers can conduct business directly without the assistance of a wine broker. Producers will be able to see where their bottles of wine are at at any given time. Also, potential buyers would no longer need to be in close vicinity to evaluate a bottle of wine. So in short, blockchain technology can help restore trust in the wine sector, which is excellent news for wine enthusiasts. So there we have it. We've had a look at how blockchain can benefit the wine industry. Once again, if you found this topic interesting, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.